Let's get away right. Welcome back to Matt's No More Heroes, Heroes Paradise, bomb ass thing, whatever I'm calling it. Uh, we're on our way to Naomi and dropping off some money. Nothing really else has opened up in Santa Destroy, except for some weird cat mission. Uh, there's not really any time to go into it right now. What the fuck am I doing? Gene! Yeah, 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 yeah. Cat food? Do you want milk? Uh, foxtail. Oh no, you want, you want foxhound. What do you want? What do you want? Milk? Do you, do you want more food again? Oh my god, this is so tense. Gene. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Gene, don't let the other cats, the other cats talk shit about you, Gene. Yeah, yeah! yeah. Woo! You love that belly scratch. You love it. Whatever. How much did I make for that? I was number one. I did in 20 seconds. $30,000. Gold! Uh, along with an assassination mission called uh, Big Bang Anarchy, but uh, Anarchy in the Galaxy is the rarest uh, kill slot move that you get after you've death blowed a guy. Yes, death blowed a guy. Um, it happens only when you get triple sevens, and sometimes you can have an entire playthrough without ever getting it, because it's fucking random. I never even knew it was in the Wii version until I played uh, the retail. Ubisoft didn't know about it. Grasshopper didn't fucking tell us. For all intents and purposes, it does not exist. Oh shit, this isn't going well. Energy consumption is at an all-time low. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. So this is what Anarchy in the Galaxy is. Anarchy in the Galaxy! Shabams! It kills everything in the room. Uh, it's super fucking cool. The reason why this assassination mission is in here is for this very reason. Because you would never see it otherwise. Uh, I think it's actually pretty cool that they have it. Uh, but this mission actually is a little tricky to get it. I, I, I need to kill Phil five guys in a row, I believe. I think this is five, and then I get it again, and I trigger it. Uh, pressing the move and the trigger buttons, while it's really handy to get those stock dark side moves, I notice it's actually really finicky with it. Uh, sometimes I get it and sometimes I don't. I believe I'm pressing the buttons as simultaneously as possible, but I don't know. It's, it, it just doesn't trigger sometimes in the heat of the moment. Not great. Oh, I got another one. It's so fucking cool. If you guys remember on the podcast, I said this is one of my favorite screen clearing moves just because it's so fucking rare. And he gets some of that uh, Super Saiyan Takahata approved hair. Right there I try to go for it instead I got a throw because I guess I was pressing the trigger button which is throw. And I'm not, it's just not happening for whatever reason. Maybe because I'm just really close to all the uh, guys here but... You know, I'm killing them, but this is kind of slow going. Oh shit, I need one more, come on. Finally, fuck. Shabamzos! That was 78, how many guys is that? 78? How many guys can I possibly take on? 86. Wow, that mission was nuts! Okay, we have enough money for the ranking battle, but before we uh, pay that cash, I'm going to pay a little stop to our favorite sexy doctor, Dr. Naomi. Uh, if you recall, we got the direly named U.S. Military Secret, which I still, to this day, have no clue what the fuck it is. But you're supposed to drop that off to Dr. Naomi. Let's see what she has to say. She's pointing the finger. Where the hell did you get this shit, Travis? I swear you can get your hands on almost anything these days. It scares me to think like a thing like this is out in the world. Okay, let's see what I can do with it. I'll give it a shot. Whenever you get uh, any of these U.S. military secrets, always hand them off to Dr. Naomi. And always buy what she has. Right now, she's got absolutely fucking nothing. So we're just going to head out because she needs a little time to prepare. Needs uh, to have that cooking in the oven. Um, so we're going to head to the ATM and drop off that sweet, sweet money dollar fun bucks. Um, there's also another really neat thing. On the last part, if you recall, I, I talked about the DLC and I switched back over to the uh, regular Subaki uh, level 2 sword uh, because I felt the other sword was really overpowered for where we are in the game so um, I might just use it to level up faster in between uh, parts because 
of course that stuff isn't super fun to watch so that might be where I use those swords and I also got another one that I haven't fooled around yet so uh, maybe we'll see that in a future part but uh, one of the other things I talked about is you can get bike skins and the bike skins have absolutely no fucking purpose uh, they just let you have a different the front end of the bike you see it's just white with red that's all it really changes to bams the power of editing that's all it really does it goes uh, pretty good with my outfit right now I do have to say pretty fucking styling uh, but now that we've paid uh, the money cash fun uh, bucks we can check out what Miss Sylvia Crystal has for us today for the next ranking fight we are going for number five so we're almost halfway quite there not sort of really uh-huh <laughs> yes hello let me guess you're out shopping <laughs> Hey, I don't want to interrupt your fiesta. Who's next? Hey, give me a second. Uh-huh. Mm. What? Huh? Yo, what's the problem? Something wrong? Hello? Thanks. Thanks for great. great, yeah. Oh, uh, fucking just work. No, don't shake it though. Just work. Help me out, lady. Oh. Um, I actually really like uh Sylvia just because she's way more crazy in No More Heroes too. The first one, uh, she's she's just not that fun. But there's something about the way her dialogue is and her situations in No More Heroes 2 that I like a little bit better. So some of those Cutscenes really don't help, you know. She doesn't work. I, I don't get it. Don't you run like a gigantic corporation? I think. Anyway, uh, so now that we've paid the money and we got that really helpful call, uh, we're gonna head out to find the fifth rank assassin. Okay. Now, if all these assassins are killing other assassins, who's the assassin supposed to assassinate? Well, at least my assassin will get what's coming to him. Hmm. Blood, huh? Uh, let's see what the fuck this is all about. Uh, just back it up, back it in. Let me begin. Uh, a lot of blood on the streets of Sand and Destroy, which is normally a regular everyday occurrence. Um, and you're actually supposed to follow this blood trail. Uh, it kind of leads you in a roundabout way around the city. It's not too bad. But I fortunately know exactly where to go. It's always in the same place. And we're just gonna forget where the blood trail is, take a kind of a shortcut. Uh, it kind of leads you all the way around the city, but all you really have to do is head towards the Sand Destroy Desert, which we haven't actually quite seen uh, yet. So uh, we're back on the blood trail. Uh, not quite breadcrumbs, but um, I actually really like the way the desert looks in this HD uh, version of the game. All these little like uh, puffs of smoke everywhere. There's something about it that makes it a little more desolate, and the sound comes in clearer. I actually uh, like it quite a bit uh, than the Wii version. Nice! That's I meant to do that. It's just kind of a lonely place. Really makes you think about how there's really nothing in here. Uh, there's a couple of spots of money. There's some lava cob balls here, but there's really nothing to do. What you can do is check out this is where we're going for the next ranking fight. And that blood trail was from this weird lady's body. It's never really inferred who this body is or who really did it. I guess the fifth rank assassin supposedly killed this random woman. She's headless. You never find her head. I have no idea where it is. It's, it is mysterious to me. Like I said before, I got to see like the dialogue trees and basically... That's Let's Shake. I got to see the full script in the game and never gave any more indication about who that's supposed to be or if they have any relation with Let's Shake, who, again, has a uh, kind of brief resurgence in No More Heroes 2. Not going to go all the way down here because I probably want to do this and see that there's another treasure chest. This should be card 26. And it is. Uh, this is a really weird sort of dungeon. Not quite a dungeon, actually. 
It's kind of more of an angle to come, come at this different sort of fight. I don't actually have to fight that many guys. Well, I kind of do and I don't. You're going to see why. You can kind of speed it up right here. These, these two dudes here that just kind of start running away from me. It's really strange. Like, what? Why? I mean, Sylvie's always go going on about how I have bad oral hygiene and my fart stink and I got a big stank butt. But, anyway. <gasps> Who's that? Hmm. Mysterious man in black. Um, I can already kind of tell that this looks... This sort of tunnel crawl looks way different than the Wii version. There's something about the textures on the wall or the in the distance and the silhouetted figure that we're chasing right now looks a little different. I, I can't quite put my finger on it. It's been a while since I've seen it, but... Uh, so we have a lot of lightsaber guys. All you really have to do is avoid those things. And just by doing this slash... We can kind of avoid a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but that guy really got a shot into me right before I could really react to it. That's fine. Uh, so as you see, I, I've gone back to the Tsubaki one, like I've said. I really don't need any sort of powerful uh, katana for this fight. Because I just fight the same guys over and over. And I can just keep using that uh, jumping slash technique with the follow-up kill. Uh, so really not any point to get any fancy here. I think this is... Suda51 just trying to put some variety, even though this section actually lacks variety in a weird sort of way. Another silhouetted figure just stops there. This guy's not triggering, but let's just see if I can get the early jump on him. And I can. Alright, so I guess we keep going on and on ahead. This lasts for quite a bit, and this is basically all this dungeon really is. It does create this sense of tension. I remember when I was actually watching Wooly play this game for the first time, and I remember getting a section he was really psyched up trying to get through this park. Well, what the hell is this? What's, what's this leading to? And it does lead to some great payoff, but uh, we'll save that for a little later. Um, all it basically is is, like, again, is going down this one hallway, and this guy just runs so fucking fast! This crazy guy! So fast! If you can really get a good look at these guys, they actually look like TIE Fighter pilots. Um, and there's really a... I mean, they're wearing blue, but again, I recall that these guys wore black in the Wii version, so they really look like TIE Fighters then. I think they even have a very similar name when you get some uh, collectibles later that actually give you some insights on the enemies in the game. I think they're called Die Fighters or Dark Fighters, something like that. Um, and it was another one of those things that I recall bugging myself, saying, this this might be a legal issue if anyone gets word that this is really close to Star Wars, which is something that, you know, has, you know, kind of sued uh, publications and other things in the past for kind of infringing on certain characters or what. You better change it. Much like that uh, episode three, the, um, fuck, uh, Revenge of the Sith uh, or whatever, uh, poster from back in Bishop's uh, Beefhead video star. Shabams! Uh, like I said, there's really not much much else to this sort of dungeon crawl. It's literally a dungeon crawl. But as you saw, we were out in the desert uh, section of Santa Destroy, and we're just winding our way down this creepy basement. To be honest, though, this is this is much creepier than anything I ever saw in Evil Within. Uh, owned, owned you, Evil Within. Lots of my spleen, and I just realized that my spleen is also a voice clip done by Travis Touchdown. So I guess he just uh, put some voice clips in there. And interestingly enough, I've talked to him a lot before, uh, Travis Touchdown's voice actor is Robin Atkins Downs, uh, who played lots of great roles if you just look up as I am to be. Uh, he's one of my favorites. Uh, he actually, the first um, voice acting role that I know that he did just by like, whoa, this guy's a cool voice actor, is was uh, Prince of Persia, the warrior within, not the most the best role you want on your uh, on your IMDb page, but you know, still I enjoyed it at the time. He really gave a good "you bastard." Travis, hello. Hello. Continue forward, and you will enter your next ranked match. The fifth rank awaits you if you win, and only eternal damnation awaits if you lose. How are you feeling? No irritable rashes? Kids the jam lately? Taking care of the blackheads on your nose? <sighs> Might I recommend a good hygiene step? When you're ready, step inside. 
Now, don't tense up too much on this one. You've been slacking up a bit. You must maintain a steady tempo. Uh, no, I, I don't know what I she mean, is. Right? I am so sorry to say this, but I am 1,800% positive that you will die here. But trust your force and head for the Garden of Madness. That was weird. Yeah, I get dash. Uh, I would have been able to keep up with that silhouetted figure if I had the dash. So you'll notice some things about this fight uh, lead up to is that there's no Master Smith rustling moves. Uh, but unfortunately, we get uh, some. I'll get this, even though I don't think I took. Oh, I took one hit from a laser and a full pizza. Although, eh, there's a different greenish tone on my uh, health meter there. The inner heart. As I was saying, Robin Atkin Downs also plays uh, Kazuhiro Miller from uh, the Metal Gear series. Also my favorite roles that he's ever done. And I really love him as Travis Touchdown. I, and because I play this game so much, I can tell his voice out pretty quickly. Uh, in the Game of Thrones playthrough that me and uh, Wooly did, I was able to catch his voice pretty easily. This is the final card. This should be 30. Yeah, it's 30. And we're going to head out in here and watch the next cutscene. And I'll really shut up uh, during this one because it's super tense and high stakes. That's not alcohol, it's just sparkling water, don't worry. At last. Doctor, it's time. Wake up! Oh yeah, I feel a good undulation. Your rumbling is excellent. I think I'm going to lose the power control. You the fifth ranked guy? Yeah, I've been waiting for you. You certainly sound like you're up for a fight. I'm ready whenever you are. All right, then. Here I come. <laughs> Disaster blaster, charging ignition. Ignition ready. Activating main engine. Activating solar engine. Cycle ratio 50%. Blaster generator active. Calculating coordinates. Thermal protection. Cycle ratio 25%. Anti-shock balance are open. Calculation complete. Need detection system normal. Target acquisition 98%. Main panel open. Cycle ratio 55%. Activate cell distance. Maximize output. Ignite vanishing sparks. Cycle ratio 80%. Activate utility distance. This was a all systems go. T minus ten seconds. Cycle ratio one hundred percent. T minus seven seconds. Cycle ratio one hundred and forty percent. T minus five seconds. Maximum output. Critical point exceeded. T minus three, two, one. Fire. Travis touchdown, is it not? Ah. Son of a bitch! Fucking snatcher! I had him! Dance with me, Travis. A katana. This is getting interesting. What do you go by? Henry. Henry? <laughs> Your instincts serve you well. I. Am... I don't know who you are or what you want, Sir Henry. Where are your manners? That was my kill, you naughty boy! Shall we get this over with? And don't hate me if I play a tad dirty. Fine by me. After you. Hmm, we finally get to see the introduction of Henry. Now, in No More Heroes 1, he's only ever called Henry, but if you look in some, uh documentation here and there, either maybe in the instruction manual, but certainly No More Heroes 2. His full name is Henry Cooldown, which is the coolest fucking name ever. I uh, love it. 
Uh, get the purple. Yeah. All right. Uh, also, shut up because a uh, cutscene's gonna load right now. Stop right there. The fight is over. Brothers, you are now ranked fifth. But we haven't even. We're just getting started. Perhaps you've forgotten these fights are an official game. If your opponent dies for whatever reason, according to the rules of conduct, it is your win. That's fucked up. That's the stupidest rule I've ever heard. This guy's mine, and you just want me to let him go, bitch? Mm. Rules are rules. You can't have what you can't have. Mm. Whatever. But this dude says he wants to fight, and ain't nobody gonna stop him. This ass clown right here is... Who? Hey! He's gone! Mr. Sir Henry motherfucker, he just did it! <laughs> what a pussy. <laughs> Sorry, save that aggression for your next match. Who the hell was that guy? Hmm, intrigue, huh? Uh, Sylvie really gave a look there. Uh, we'll see what that's about. Uh, I love that line, particularly. Uh, Sir Henry motherfucker just jetted. What a pussy. Uh, so now we are currently ranked fifth, even though we actually didn't have a fight. Uh, and Suda51 clearly knew that some people were a little let down by that, and that's why you actually get to fight Dr. Shake, or Dr. Let Shake have you in No More Heroes 2. You don't actually get to fight that guy. Uh, the punk rocker guy there with wearing the virtual boy helmet. Yeah, thinking that I made kind of a noise or hmm because that was a that cutscene had a little Easter egg there that uh, Let's Shake talks about the uh, cell piston trinity something or rather. Uh, the cell was uh, the word cell was um, capitalized because that was a direct reference to the cell processor in the PS3, which was a little nod to that, uh, and also I think the Trinity Pistons that he mentioned uh, a second later was a component of the Xbox 360, uh, which is pretty weird. And funnily enough, No More Heroes started at... No, I'm not catching some Cs. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm not playing these No More Hero 2 boss battles because they give you absolutely nothing, and I've already fought them like a couple times. Uh, really disappointed with that part of the game that they just kind of shoehorned in there. Now, since we just had a cutscene with Henry, uh, the voice actor for Henry there also does those answering machine messages. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be implying that Henry's the one that's doing to you, uh, doing it to you. It's Henry the one that's doing it, or it's just like they re-reason his voice. But the voice actor, of course, is Mr. Quentin Flynn, who we all know as Mr. Lightning in the Storm, right in from all the Metal Gear games. I really love him as uh, Henry Cooldown. And just... The fact that Raiden is fighting Kazuhira Miller in this in this game just makes it all the more awesome. So we are now number five in the ranked uh, Assassin's League of the UAA. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next part. No more heroes. Heroes Paradise.